Hey guys, uh, Randy here and welcome aboard the CB Traveler channel. Today we are going camping, finally. I've been so busy at work, I've been trying to get out and do this. Um, this is kind of a test, I've got some new stuff I just wanted to try out and, and make sure they work, put them to a little bit of an overnight test, and uh, yeah. Hey buddy. Uh, this this camp this is some place I've been to before to get some pictures so I know right where I'm going and uh, it's a neat little place it's got good views beautiful views I should say and I'm kind of hoping for some a good sunset there's a storm moving in so maybe the sunset will co cooperate for me I can get some pictures while I'm out here yep just right up here and look at this view wow beautiful that's my view for the night well if I can get a word in edgewise against the target shooting behind me I was counting on camping here hopefully they will be leaving soon still pretty early pretty early in the day Check this out, man. This is such a beautiful place. I have some good pictures of, uh, of this during a monsoon storm. It came through here in that mountain in the background. I've also hiked, you probably saw it in a video coming in along that railroad track. I followed that in and I just hiked all the way to, it's along the base of that mountain. In the, in the afternoon, that mountain is, a, is beautiful for sunsets. But there's uh, some clouds off to the west. The south and east look pretty uh, clear. It's supposed to be a storm coming in tomorrow. So we'll see how that works itself out but today's gonna be a good day to check out the uh, new camper setup I got some new items anyways I got to figure out the logistics and see what's comfortable some things are gonna have to be uh, remade remodeled but I'll get into that in a little bit but first I just kind of wanted to get a overview of the campground I'm gonna be or my little campsite I'm gonna be staying at this is boondocking, I'm not at a campground. How are you feeling? Look at how many swarrows are out here. This place is beautiful. I like coming out here well, at least like coming out here when there's nobody target practicing, it's nice and peaceful. And along over here somewhere, you can see that's where the, the riverbed is. There's some yellow trees fall over there. It's like fall color still. <laughs> it's in January, but it's like 65 degrees, 60 degrees maybe. I don't know. Except for those gunshots. <laughs> <It's, coughs> I'm sorry. As you can tell, I'm probably just, you can probably tell I'm just getting over um, being sick. But this is a good way to get out and clear your lungs. I'm not gonna push it too hard. I just wanted to come out, get away from work, spend the night and just relax for a minute. So in between gunshots, you can hear how quiet it is. <laughs> uh, gotta love Arizona, huh? The desert, Southwest Arizona. Gotta love it. That poor guy is dying halfway up.
Whoa, look at that. Those couple planes flying over there. Oh yeah, I was going to ask you guys um, if you've ever been to the the Casa Grande uh, National Monument. I stopped by there on my way out here, and man, that place is cool. Inside the uh, visitor center uh, as a museum, they have all sorts of artifacts. Um, they describe, you know, how stuff was made back in the day, and then you walk out and you see the actual Casa Grande, the the ruins. And they're all in a different state of disrepair. And uh, they're kind of keep them at it as is, and they're just uh, trying to protect them. Yeah, I was really impressed with that. And it's free, too. So if you're ever in Coolidge, be sure to check that place out. All right, well, this is a new toy I got. Uh, it's Endure Super Base Pro 2000. So this is going to give me 2,000 watts. Uh, so what that'll let me do, I don't use a huge amount of electricity, but when it is cold out, I bought a, an electric blanket or a throw blanket that I can put in my sleeping bag, kind of down at the bottom, so it'll uh, help keep me warm. I don't have a heater inside here, so when it's 10, 15 degrees out, it gets pretty chilly inside this uh, camper, but I got a new sleeping bag and that's gonna help. Before I was sleeping in Levi's, a vest jacket, long sleeve shirt, socks, <laughs> everything, I was still cold. But uh, with this new sleeping bag and with that heating blanket, I think I'm gonna do just fine. And with this, it's gonna let me uh, heat it up. If I get too cold, I can just flip it on real quick, heat it up inside and uh, I think I think it'll be plenty warm in there. It has an automatic shut off. The electric blanket has a shut off so that if it, when it starts getting a certain temperature, I could probably run this thing all night and not have to worry about it. But yeah, 2000 watts. The one I had before was only about 600. Oh, so the other thing I can run is, let's see if I can find it. Oh, I can't wait. Got a new coffee maker. So I will be able to run that thing first thing in the morning. I don't have to break out the old Coleman and use the, the old fashioned uh, percolator coffee. That's gonna be super handy and it happens to fit my good Yeti coffee cup. I cannot wait to try this out. I'm anxious to see, I have the Reflectix in there that I'll put up at night. Uh, right now I have the windows open and a nice breeze blowing through. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to see how this handles the night. It's gonna be a cold night tonight, so I wanna check this out. The other thing I wanna do is, I wanna somehow get a, like a 200 watt flexible solar panel that I can mount to the top and then uh, Maybe somehow run it up along up here into there. So it's constantly keeping this thing charged up. Just trickle charge it all day. I think we'll be good. But that's a little bit of a plan. You probably you may have noticed in some of my other videos that I have I had a shelf over on the left hand side that held my smaller battery. Well that doesn't work anymore with this beast. So I'm going to have to put my CB brain and to work and to action and try and see uh, what I can come up with, maybe modify the existing one a little bit or just make a whole new one. Bed's still fine. It's really messy right now because I don't have everything situated. When I got rid of that, our moot took the shelf out. I uh, lost some of my shelf space. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Can't wait to see how this thing handles tonight. Now hoping, I'm hoping, See how pretty that mountain looks already with the sun setting? It's just a blue sky. But what I'm hoping is if the storm blows in, hopefully it looks like it might be coming in from the north a little bit, that direction. And it's clear, clear to the west, so maybe I'll get a good sunset up against that mountain. That's what I'm hoping for, but let's see. Let's see if that's what happens. Anyways, I don't think you can beat the, uh, 
from the view and just getting out and not being behind the computer all day. I'm gonna start charging up some of my GoPro batteries, but I, yeah, I knew this before, I forgot about it, to be honest with you, is there's no USB-C or USB-A connections, it's all USB-C. But with, uh, with all these 110, I have an adapter that I can just use. And with the cord that I have, that'll, be, that'll work just fine. I was a little bit worried for a second, and then I remembered I had that adapter. Yep, she is charging fine. Awesome. Other thing I got is uh, this little light. I can mount it outside the truck. Um, it's just held on magnetic and uh, it's motion detected so that if uh, so I can have it outside the truck and you can see it's solar charged and at night it's got a little light that shines to the inside which gives me a little ambient light but if uh, it's motion detected so if something comes up around the truck it'll uh, it'll set off the light and kind of let me know if it could be a rabbit squirrel whatever coyote but let me know something's out there. So I think with all these adaptions, I'm gonna be able to get out and camp a little bit more than I was able to before. I've been real busy at work and I haven't been able to get out and camp as much this year, uh, or, or I guess it would be towards the end of uh, last year. But uh, this year, freeing myself up a little bit, I'm gonna go do a lot more of this and put the old, uh, traveler part in my channel to better use than just traveling around to day use stuff. I really want to get out and camp a lot more. So, and in this setup, I think, I think I'm good for probably a week. Carry enough water and food. I have enough charging power now. Um, yeah, I'll put it, I'm gonna see how comfortable how comfortable it is tonight, and that's gonna let me know a lot. I, I'm like 95% sure that I'm gonna be completely comfortably, as far as warm goes. So yeah, well let me, I'm gonna look around a little bit before the sun starts getting too low, because I wanted to see if I might get a composition for a nice sunset picture if the clouds, if the clouds do uh, cooperate and move in a little bit and don't block the sun. See what's over this way. These guys have been uh, shooting tannerite over there. Trying to check out what. Oh, this is kind of neat. These two choya, dead choya skeletons. The second one down there is catching some uh, backlighting. That could be interesting. All right. Give it just a little bit more time. Might come back down here. You can see there's been rain. They've had rain up here. A lot of the little wild grasses are growing. Oh, this might be a good spot here. Oh, look at this. Dead tree right here. If I can incorporate that somehow. This is not the right angle. Oh, I liked it better over here. It had a sweeping look right there. I like that better. Wow. All right. There's another spot. If it's clear, which it looks like it's clearing up now, so sunset's not going to work out too well as far as clouds. But maybe I can get some star trail pictures tonight. Still too early for the Milky Way. 
It's uh, February, late February. Milky Way season starts. But if I can get star trails over that mountain right there. Ooh, yeah. Now we're talking. I gotta try that. I'm gonna look at the, see what kind of moon we have tonight. I'm gonna have a little bit of a tiny little campfire here just to stay warm. I think, uh, yeah, I had to buy the wood. You can't, you can't uh, go out into the desert and look for wood like you used to be able to. Sounds like everybody's packing up. There's a lot of side-by-sides -side that come out here, a lot of rangers, a lot of off-road vehicles, motorcycles, quads. But uh, it's getting a little bit later in the afternoon, so everybody's starting to head home. My buddy is over there at the shooting range. Sounds like they're gone. So it should start getting quiet here pretty quick. Well, that's still charging. I've got inside of here, not leaking, nope. Inside of here is a, let's see if I can open this with one hand. I have a, a little drawer and it's got some cooking utensils in here. Back up coffee pot now. Couple extra sheets, bowl, a little propane, and mm, this could be tough with one hand. Yep, I've got my got my grill. Oh, okay, that hurt a little bit. <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna get this grill set up. I got some uh, soup I'm gonna eat for tonight. I didn't bring a cooler or anything because I'm. it's just for one night, but uh, it's gonna be good. Well, I am ready for dinner. Well, not right the second, but I'm ready to cook it when it gets a little bit later. And the old battery. Heck yeah, we're at 97%. Getting everything all charged up. Gonna be good for tonight. But uh, this is how I'm gonna be set up for tonight. Looks like it's gonna be some star trails. But there's no moon because it's already set. So there's gonna be hardly any light, maybe some ambient light. I don't think so though. But uh, yeah, I, just, I switched over to my 20 millimeter 1.8. Let's in lots of light. And plus I'll try some light painting on it. I'll light up these cactus just a tiny little bit so you can see them. Maybe if I have my tiny little fire going it might be just enough light to light up the cactus with a nice golden glow. But I think that's gonna be really nice. All I just have to do is wait. Everything's all set up, focused. That's just like the Navy. Now it's just hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Oh, I'm starting to lose light fast. Uh, there's not gonna be any sunrise or sunset. Clouds are gonna get, or the sun's gonna get snuffed out by some incoming clouds, but they look like they're thinning up. So I don't know, there's lights up, there's clouds up above, moving in, so could be a wash on the photography. But anyways, I gotta get something to eat real quick. Come here. A little uh, one one person pan here. Probably have to. I don't think that'll all fit in there.
for just for right now. Don't worry, I'm not littering. Oh man, this looks good. Wow, it smells good too. Woo wee! This is a treat. I usually don't uh, eat hot meals like this. A lot of times if I'm on the go, I'll just eat a... Uh... Don't tell anybody else. I usually eat Lunchables. <laughs> That's good soup. Ah. Got a bowl. Charging everything up. I think I might set up a time lapse instead of counting on a... Instead of counting on uh, star trails tonight, that's not gonna happen. So let me go down, I'm gonna set up my camera for a little bit of a time lapse maybe. Yeah, let me do that while this is heating up. I think it was a better gamble on the sunrise than it is for uh, star trails, but uh, yeah, boy. Let's see if the GoPro will, boy, it's kind of dark, I should slow down. Look at that sunrise. Wah, wah, wee, wah. It's just getting better too. All right, well, it is about two in the morning and 43 degrees. The sleeping bag and uh, electric blanket combo worked amazingly. It was, <laughs> it was too warm. I didn't want to get out of bed. Uh, when I woke up, let me get this plugged in. When I, when I woke up, I saw some stars. So I thought, all right, well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and get a star trail, but um, yeah, when I woke up and got out, I see it was just still mo mostly overcast, some stars, but they're kind of fuzzy, so it's a high, thin clouds up there, but uh, I went to sleep really early, so I woke up early, and uh, <laughs> Think I'll just make me some coffee, relax for a little bit, eat a little breakfast, and then uh, maybe head back for home. That battery is awesome. I love that thing. Zendor Super Bass Pro 2000. Come on, coffee. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Oh, yeah, that is so good. And so warm. I think that uh, I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna drink a little coffee, relax, and uh, head back home. It's a little bit of a drive, so I'm gonna head on out. And just remember, never say goodbye. Always see you later. <laughs>